welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name's Lydia and I'm a stay-at-home mom to my three kids and we just do a variety of things on this channel. So today I thought I would share some fun um, cooking, baking. I did do an applesauce yesterday in the crock pot and that is a super easy way to do. If you go to the mountains and you get apples or whatever and you're trying to figure out a way to use them all up, this is a great easy recipe to put in the crock pot. Also, you can make some apple butter or whatever if you have some apples you need to use up. And so my great uncle had given me some and they were getting a little bad. And so I went ahead and decided to do that. And it was great for supper and used it for some of the kids for lunches throughout the week. And so I did do that yesterday, but I'm going to go ahead and include it in this video. And I will share the recipe down below in the description, description box if you're interested in trying it. And then also I'm going to make some super easy pumpkin muffins. I love having muffins on the weekends, especially for like Sunday mornings. I feel like I never have enough time to get it all done and be on time for church. So I tend to just kind of make those on the weekends if I have a chance and then they'll have those for Sunday morning or Saturday morning, whatever, depending if we have a busy Saturday and I don't make a big breakfast, but we're going to do that. And I also thought about making some chicken and dumplings for dinner tonight. So I might include that in this video as well, if I have enough time to include that plus my home tour and my fall home tour. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get into it. Hey, before I get into it, let me know, are you a coffee drinker or a tea drinker? Now I've always been a tea drinker. Like I love like all the herbal teas, the Earl Grey. Earl Grey is probably my favorite green tea, chamomile. This one here that I'm drinking smells like fall in a cup. It's apple cinnamon. It smells so good. Um, and so I love tea. I don't know. I just always have been a tea drinker and I like hot tea. Like I know a lot of people will be like hot tea. That's gross. But in the mornings, I just love a cup of hot tea. I don't put anything in it. I just heat it up and that's what I drink in the morning. It's like my favorite thing to do, but let me know. Are you a coffee or a tea drinker? My husband has tried for going on 13 years we've been married to try to make me a coffee drinker every time he gets a new coffee or he tries a different flavor he's like try this you'll love it and I'm like okay and I try it every single time and I absolutely hate it and so I don't know I don't think he's gonna ever be able to convert me to coffee but anyway until then I'll stick with my tea you could do me a big favor if you are a returning subscriber if you watch my videos often, if you um, could please like or comment under this video, it really helps to YouTube to push out my videos. And I really want to be a good steward of my time that God's given me. And I don't want to spend time doing videos that really are not profiting me or you. I really enjoy just sharing what I do every day, what God's called me to do, and that's to be a mother. And I enjoy sharing that part of it. And they don't tend to do very good on my channel. So if you could help me out by like in this video, share it, comment, comment, whatever you want to comment. If you're new, let me know your name and where you're from, or even maybe some of your favorite fall things to do in the fall or favorite fall recipes, whatever. I would love to kind of interact with y'all. I'd love to interact with um, people on here. Shout out to Patty who always comments on my videos. Um, hey Patty, I love getting to see you in the comments every time I post a video. She's my faithful one. She always is on there. And so shout out to you, Patty, for always coming back and watching my videos and liking them and I really appreciate it. So we'll go ahead and get into it and I hope y'all enjoy. You're always resting 
This little blue lamp used to be my mom's and I've had it for years, but I've just never able to really incorporate into my decor. And so after I did my 4th of July decor, I decided that I wanted to kind of stick with the blues for fall and then just throw in some oranges and golds and coppers and things like that. And so I tried to do that this year. I'm not really sure if I pulled it off, but I did enjoy having the blue in there with the oranges for fall. If you saw my last thrift with me video you'll see a lot of those items that i thrifted incorporated into my fall decor and that's what i tend to try to do if i'm changing colors or i'm changing styles in a room i try to thrift items first or clearance shop i did find a lot of blue florals clearance at michael's after summer for 80 percent off that i was able to throw into my fall decor and just kind of bring in more of that blue into the kitchen that i normally don't do and um, i also just use the same thing year after year i don't normally get rid of a whole lot I tend to keep the same things um, I do last year I did declutter a good bit of things that I just wasn't using year after year but if it's things that I'm putting out every year I'm going to keep it and a lot of things are sentimental that I keep that were my mom's and stuff as well but if you saw my thrift with me video you saw that I got these dishes for $1.75 but they didn't have any dinner plates so my husband's grandmother saw that and she actually had the same set of dishes and she gave me what she had. So I was able to get enough for five table settings, but I only normally do four here anyway, so that it worked out okay. Keep your apple peelings and throw them in a freezer bag and just put them in the freezer for on a day that you want your house to smell like you've been baking a pie, but you aren't. <laughs> this is really easy. Just throw in a pot with some cinnamon and some other things and it will make your house smell so good. I didn't need it on this day, of course, because apples were already cooking in the crock pot and they were really smelling up the house. And so I thought I would save those for another day. And it's just a good way to use up those apple peelings versus just throwing them away. But this recipe is super easy. It only takes six ingredients and then you just throw it in a crock pot and let it cook throughout the day.
do my super easy pumpkin muffins because I was missing the main ingredient. So I made these pumpkin banana ones that I've made before and they're pretty easy as well. And they're like my family's favorite. We make these probably once a week at least, especially on the weekends to have. So now I'm going to make my mama's chicken dumpling recipe and I already could boil my chicken, cut it up and I'm just straining the water that it boiled in and then I'm going to re-add it to the pot and then you add like two tablespoons of butter and then I just use this chicken broth. I normally use chicken bouillon and I just use a half a container of that or a full container depending on how many dumplings you're wanting to make if you double the recipe. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and make the dumplings while the water boils and it'll be ready to go ahead and add our dumplings.